Big Q stuff right here. This is a massive 35 inch ultra wide 21 by 9. That's like the cinema scope ratio for movies like this. You know, you get the nice big ultra wide 21 by 9. Um, we're going to talk about this monitor, what it does, all of its grandiose features like HDR. Uh, we're going to talk about this little light bar on top, which is surprisingly awesome. Um, and it's way better than just having a lamp. So we're going to talk about those two things. Um, and then we're also going to talk about you know, just the general application for gaming and media, what you would use this for, uh, and I'll recommend it or not recommend it at the end, so stay tuned for that. Now, first off, let's get through the big specs. We've got HDR on this that you can toggle on and off. Uh, we have a 2500 to 1 contrast ratio, and this is a curved 35-inch monitor at 3440 by 1440. Now, the curve is 1800R. Uh, that's the measurement, so... If you guys are really curious, you guys can look up what that exactly means. Now, the viewing angle is 178 degrees, has some of the best color reproduction that I've ever seen, and that's even with the HDR off. Now, they've done a lot here that's like focusing on eye care. Um, and so let's go through that really quick. Some of the technologies built in this will actually change based upon the environment and the lighting. It'll change the temperature, like 2700 all the way up to like 7200 as far as you know like the warmer or the colder colors go depending on your environment it can dim down if you're in a very dark room so you, you know it's easier on your eyes and it goes a step above and beyond some of the applications that you have out there like there's flux and stuff that'll do this for you it goes a step above and beyond that because it has the blue light filter uh, that's what causes a lot of the eye strain so that's all built in it's also anti-flicker now this is the uh, screen bar e-reading lamp give you the quick specifications on this 800 lux uh, 2700 to 6500k as far as the different temperatures go and it can adjust on its own or you have little buttons up here where you can adjust it you can adjust the brightness or you can let this thing sense what's going on and it'll, it'll automatically dim and stuff like that um, it just uses a 5 volt usb that you can plug in right here or you can plug it into a usb hub and the dimensions are 45 centimeters by 9.9 .9 centimeters by 9.2 centimeters and when you put it in this housing here this thing feels really good it's an aluminum alloy polycarbonate um, but when you put it in the housing here, one of the things that's interesting is it's not going to glare in your screen. And that's because the LEDs here, they're anti-flicker number one, but number two, they're also almost like a spotlight. So they shine, like a regular lamp's going to just shine in all directions. This one has a very focused light that will like shine straight down and hit your desk. I mean, if you angle it into the monitor, yes, it will. But So it'll shine down and it'll illuminate the table below you so you can see like whatever you're working on. We're working on some RPG stuff here. Um, you can see what you're working on and it will not touch the screen at all. So it's a really nice way to light up your desk so you don't have to, uh, you know, strain your eyes in the evening when you're looking at stuff on your desk and you don't have to use an external light or a lamp that's going to glare on your screen. So if you're someone who needs a little light at your desk and want to, you know, want the ability to mount it up right here, Justin's, he's already like got dibs on this thing. Like, I'm just like, well, I guess it's uh, yours. I don't like that much light, but yeah, he's got like papers all over his desk and having this without all the extra lamps, so it's not gonna glare. There's not really much I can say negative about it. It's just a really premium lamp and it'll fit on uh, any monitor pretty much. It, it fits on there just like a webcam does. You know, like you get the little mount there. It's actually way heavier on the back than a webcam to make sure it anchors down properly. All right, back to the monitor. Now that we've gone through, I think most of the eye care stuff that's going on here. So all that plus all the color options and stuff. Guys, this is mainly for media consumption. And it does have AMD FreeSync for gaming. If every game in the world worked perfectly with 21 by nine resolution, it would be a beautiful thing. A lot of the games out there don't work really th that well with it. So I would say that this monitor, um, it's hundred Hertz. So it's gonna be better than like a, you know, your standard 60 Hertz monitor. Uh, it's not gonna be used by like the uber crazy gamers who need like, you know, they want four by three or 16 by nine. And they want like to turn off all the graphical options and just run the game in competitive mode at like 240 uh, Hertz and all that. It's not gonna, uh, not going to be for those guys, but if you're someone who wants like a really nice experience playing The Witcher or Skyrim um, and, and you're using FreeSync, uh, you know, a lot of the games look amazing at 21 by 9 and it's it's my favorite resolution to game in. I love the, the wide aspect ratio. It's very cinem cinematic. I just wish that more games would support it correctly. Um, and, you know, as we move forward in time, hopefully that's going to be the case. But right now it's a beautiful screen. Um, if you're using NVIDIA and you don't have a gazillion years to sit around and try to hack uh, to make free you know free sync work on nvidia you're going to see some screen tearing uh, screen tearing here and there so that's one of the downsides about it but overall for gaming it looks amazing uh, for media 
really vibrant. I mean, the 2500 to 1 contrast ratio is nice. They say it's a 20 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. And they've also done something else, um, you know, all that stuff for the eye care. Well, they're also using that same technology to help... Um, I guess, adjust the contrast on the fly and adjust the color temperature on the fly while you're watching media to make sure that the blacks are not too black and to make sure you still have definition. If there's stuff going on in the blacks, they wanna make sure you can see it. So having that dynamic stuff happening on the screen uh, makes movies and other media, you guys can't see how nice it looks right now because you're watching this on your monitor on YouTube but it won't translate. But you know, being in the room with this thing, um, it's pretty awesome. As far as the HDR goes, a lot of that right now uh, st still feels a little bit gimmicky. Some of it feels over, over saturated uh, and over bright. But you know, I think once everyone chills out with that stuff, if it becomes the next new thing, it could be pretty cool. But this is like, you know, one of the first. Um, one, of, one of the first monitors, and we don't have a lot of content out that supports HDR yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not gonna really comment much more on that. All right, let's talk about the ins and outs on this. So we have HDMI 2.0. We got two of those on the back. We have a DisplayPort 1.4. Now it comes with an HDMI cable in the box. It comes with a DisplayPort cable in the box, but it's DisplayPort to mini DisplayPort. So maybe they're thinking you're gonna be using this with a laptop. They also have USB Type-C. Now with the USB Type-C, you can use that to plug into your laptop, one cable takes care of everything, and then this will become your like media hub because there's USB uh, 3.1, just a regular Type A port. You can plug in your mouse or whatever to that um, and use that. You can plug in this light bar, and then they also have given us a headphone jack, so you can run everything off that USB C if you wanted to. Just plug it into your laptop and then go for it. The dimensions on this thing: 504 by 833.95 by 224.08. The weight is 10.4 kilograms. Now we ha we do have tilt, so you can tilt it forward and back there. Uh, the gray to gray on this is four milliseconds, so it feels nice and snappy. 103 pixels per inch. So it's it's dense, but it's not the, the most denser. Is it the densest? I don't know. What's the right word there? And then it's uh, an eight bit panel right here. Uh, as far as tilting, you can tilt it five degrees, 20 degrees, just you know, give it a little tilt here. And then it'll also slide up and down on the stand and you have 60 millimeters of play there uh, to slide this thing and just get it right where you want it, higher or lower on your desk. Remember, it's always good to have it up so that your head's not down, better for your spine to be looking straight forward. So having a, a nice big stand like this, also a very sturdy stand. It does have a pretty big footprint, but it's a minimal footprint. It's wide, but you've got room to put stuff here. You know, I was putting my amp right here and, and it was working out just fine. If you wanted to take this thing apart, it does have, uh, you know, visa mountability. It should, it should be able to mount just fine on a lot of different things, but just make sure that your mount can support uh, the weight of this guy because it is, you know, pretty big snazzy monitor. Uh, now, overall, who would I recommend this for? If you're someone who watches a lot of movie, you watches a lot of media, um, yes, you're gonna like it. If you're someone who, you know, wants to be able to game in 21 by nine with free sync and really nice colors, um, this one is really nice, mainly because of the size. There's some other, uh, you know, alternatives out there that are less expensive than offer free sync uh, and, you know, high refresh rates. But this one has better color than those, as far as, you know, my opinion goes. Uh, but you're gonna pay a little bit extra for it. And then the size on this one is just about perfect. I like the larger size, it's not too big so that you have to sit really far back. You can still sit at your desk and use it, uh, but it is just a beautiful monitor and you're gonna have to pay for it. Uh, I wish the price were, was a little bit lower, but it's gonna be impossible to get like a Korean monitor, one of the generic panels or something with this set of features. So you have to balance, you know, like this is the set of features you get, all the eye care stuff that's going on, all the options, all the ports, you know, you get all of that or do you just want to go and cheap out and grab something from Korea? They're both valid responses. It's just all about what you want. This is something that I want to use with a gaming rig. Not really into the competitive gaming, but you know, just like enjoying immersive experiences. Guys, I mean, bottom line, I really just love this thing. I, I wish it was, I wish it was cheap, but it's not <laughs> because you got to pay for what it is. Uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Grab a t-shirt. This is Barnacles. Grab one of Barnacles t-shirts. Did he pay us? Yes, oh. grab a Barnacles t-shirt and grab one of ours as well over on Epic Pants and uh, check out our mice and our keyboard is in stock. So check that out. He, he wants poor people to buy a shirt, doesn't he? He made this for poor people. Yes. All right, guys, this video is not for poor people. See you guys later.